that was me. <laughs> right, I thought it was about time I'd done another video and showed you exactly what's going on with this printer, where the smearing is actually coming from, and how to resolve it or how to clean it. Also, I want to show you a setting that's actually on the printer itself that might help to resolve some of the issues. There is a setting on there for thick paper and it's only on there, it is not on the software that comes with it that you download and stick it on your computer. It's not on there, it's only on there. Or I've only found it on there, I can't find it on the software. So I'm going to show you that first and then I'm going to show you where the ink is smearing from, or where it's getting the ink smear from, it's quite easy really to see where it's coming from. It took me a little while to find it, saying that, but it's quite easy when you actually watch it printing, you can actually see, oh no, that's where it's coming from. So that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to start off by showing you how to set that paper type to thick paper, because it helped me, and hopefully it'll help you, and then I'm going to show you where the ink's coming from and give it a quick clean. So uh, with that, let's get on with it, shall we? First things first, let's sort out the paper thickness settings because it might help, it might not, but it's worth giving it a try. So first things first, go along to settings, this baby here, and then click on OK. Go down to printer setup, click OK, go on, work, there you go, didn't work, <laughs> got there in the end. And then thick paper, there you go, press OK, and mine is turned on, you can turn it off, or you can have it on. Okay, that is it, that is the easy bit, and then if you want to go back to home, just press the home button, and there you go. So I just wanted to show you that first. Next thing to do is sort out the problem with ink smearing and hopefully this will sort out all your problems. You will have to do this every once in a while but it seems to work fine for me and it doesn't seem to happen so much once I've found out exactly where it's coming from. So first things first, we need to print something out. So I'm going to print out just a bit of paper with some print on it and then I'm going to pull out the power supply to stop it. Right, can you see that all right? So I'm going to print out a, just a plain bit of A4 and then pull out the plug. Right, I printed out a photo in the end because it was going too fast and I couldn't catch it in time. <laughs> so hopefully you can see in there nice and clearly. So basically what I'm trying to show you here is where the print unit or the print heads sit on its home settings over here is picking up the ink from there and then dragging it across and then smearing your photos. That's what it's doing. So it's sitting there. So I think the best thing to do, or this is what I've been doing, is every now and again give that a good clean. Now you might have seen my other videos where I used like an alcohol and some kitchen towel and that seems to be working perfectly and that's what I'm going to do right now to show you exactly how it works. So to start with you just need some kitchen towel, you don't even have to use any fluid. You just get some old kitchen towel, get in there and give that a good clean up. Look at that. And what happens is it sits on the pad, there's a pad there that sits on it and when it goes across to go to print whatever it's going to print, it drags a bit of ink. See that? And it just drags it right across and just makes a right old mess. So if you want to give that a good clean every now and again, or when you actually get a bit smeary, this hopefully will help you resolve any of your issues. But that is where it's coming from. It is basically where it's just sitting there and then as soon as you go and use it, it's dragging some ink across and then making a the right old mess for you. So that is it. That's all you have to do every now and again. Just give that a clean up. I'm not even going to actually use the solvent. But if you want the solvent, this is the one I actually use at the moment. And yeah, it works really well. So that will help to uh, clean it. 
bear in mind, whatever you do, you do at your own risk. So if you damage it, do not come back and say, who hey, York, it's your fault. No, it's your fault. <laughs> I'm just showing you how I do it and how I resolve the issues with ink smearing. So what I'm going to do now, fingers crossed, is I'm going to plug her back in. She will reseat herself back up. And then I'm going to try and print out a picture of something. I'm going to look for a you know, 4K picture and hopefully... It will come out nice and clean, hopefully. Last famous words. So give me a second while I set it all up. Right, I'm just going to print one out now. This is just a random photo that I've just downloaded. And I'm just going to print it on A4. It took a couple of minutes for the head to reset itself. So make sure you give it time to do that first before you start messing about with it again. And hopefully... It should come out nice and clear. If it doesn't, it's because it's the first print. You might have to do a second print to get it to uh, work. It's on its wrong paper, but yeah. There you go. Don't forget this is just on plain A4 paper. Paper out. Oh my God, I've run out of paper. Whatever, no. Right, let's have a look, let's have a look. Right, perfect, yeah? Can't see anything. Not sure if there's a little bit there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to print out another one, just to make sure. Right. Right, so there's... Is there any difference? Uh, it's not so dark, there's a little bit of darkness there and it's gone completely there. So let me know in the comments what you think. Hopefully that has resolved your issues. Hopefully this has resolved any issues you have with your print smearing and hopefully you won't have no more problems. Don't forget, if you're going to follow my advice, you do so at your own risk. I cannot take any responsibility for what I've just shown you. I am not a professional restore printers in any way but I have learned how to resolve that issue with the ink smearing and also don't forget about the paper setting you know thick paper it seems to work fine on any paper I have no issues with it whatsoever one thing to bear in mind if you can use a third party paper make sure the grammage is quite low because they seem to be a lot thicker and a lot heavier than a uh, what they recommend you can use on the Epson printer, which I found out some time ago. And I have no more issues with smearing. It seems to solve the problem perfectly just by cleaning off the home position, yeah, where the print head sits, just by giving that a good clean off, it seems to resolve any issues. And if you're going to do that, make sure that when the head goes back, you leave it for a couple of minutes because it might come back out again and double check that it's in the right place it seems to go somewhere across and then it will come back again that will do it a couple of times but like i said make sure you do it a couple of times let it do what it needs to do give it five minutes all right make sure the power's on of course give it five minutes it will set itself back in the home position and then you can carry on using it so with that if you found this video useful Give me the thumbs up. If you didn't, give me the thumbs down. Please subscribe. It doesn't cost you any money and encourages me to make more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching. Whew.